the iPads, there is an abundance of information and learning available to our students with a mere touch of a finger. It is limitless. We did a totem pole project. Students learned about the Northwest Chinook Indians use of totem poles. It's really easy to do it on the iPad. You can put pictures, you can draw on it, and you can record yourself. That allowed the students to both understand the use of the totem by natives, connect that to their personal life, and then create a presentation to explain that to others and demonstrate their understanding. I use the iPads to create videos and, and the lecture that used to be done in the classroom is now um, recorded on the iPad and then put up on the web, web page. The lecture takes place at home while the homework takes place in the classroom. Then the kids can actually hear me when it's most convenient for them and they can go at speeds that fit their needs. That means that when they're doing the work that they learned about the night before, they have me standing right beside them to answer any questions that they have. In our project, we use the iPads as our research tool. When you press that alligator, this is all the information about it. We drew them on a piece of paper, and then we um, studied them a little bit, and then we made the habitats. And this is the video of a panda. The giant panda, like some other bears, is a skillful climber of trees. They were able to just do it all with this one app, and they were constantly extending their learning. The iPad has made an incredible difference in our ability to teach each individual child exactly where they need to be taught. The entire class gets to go on extra math every day and they are working at exactly the skill level that they need to be working at. The children have already gone farther than most children have gone through an entire year. This is the essence of being able to individuate for students. We've moved from the situation where teachers are the source of information. I'm more of a facilitator rather than information disseminator and now move towards igniting interest, a desire for discovery, and for our students to learn how to be problem solvers and to be resilient in a world that none of us really know where their futures will lead.